everyone i am zayan today i am going to tell you about our environment and pollution before we learn about the deep meaning and detail we should learn what is environment environment is everything from the smallest molecule to the vastness of space everything in middle is the environment I said that environment is everything from the smallest molecule to the vastness of space, and I mean everything: your family, you, your school, your desk, your phone, your TV. All of it is your environment. So basically, we can say that everything around us is in 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 our environment, and our surroundings are also the part of the environment. Our family members, our neighbors, all make up our immediate physical environment. Animals and plants also have their own environment in their surroundings. Let's take the example of a bird. Its environment consists of the sun, the air it breathes, the food it eats, the water it drinks, and the tree it lives in. the other plants and animals around it let's talk about the environment of a fish the water it lives in the food it eats and the place where it lives is its environment but i know that the question what does environment give us just popped up in your mind we depend on the environment for all the needs the plants such as mangoes mango trees give us mangoes the animals such as chicken give us meat this gives us food and the air we breathe is also a part of the environment the water we drink also part of the environment so basically environment gives us everything we need to survive Other animals such as cows, goat, deer also eat plants, and they depend on them. We depend on the environment for many other things, such as shelter. Wood comes from trees, which is in our environment, which is used for making houses, medicines. They are they are taken from herbs and sometimes bark of trees, which have medicinal values. and paper which also comes from trees which is used for making books newspapers magazines we also depend on the environment for our clothing cotton from cotton plants silk from silk worms wool from sheep and jute from leather from animals and rubber from rubber trees Like us, animals also depend on their environment for shelter and food. Tigers and lions live in dens. Birds make nests on trees. The apes live on trees, and snakes live in burrows. Now it is your choice. I'm going to ask you: Should we care about our environment? The environment gives us so much, yet we care so little about it. So our environment gives us everything needed needed for survival and growth. Yet we are not sensitive when we take care of it. In fact, many of our activities have a harmful impact on the environment. For example, when we go for a picnic, after eating, we throw all the empty packets, polythene bags, and wrappers of chocolate, big biscuits, chips. all around the place but this contaminates the area not only this but the waste released from the factory and the smoke and harmful chemicals emitted from cars and other vehicles have a harmful impact on the environment any damage to the environment will indirectly affect us and other animals and plants we have to ask ourselves are we making our life easier when we damage the environment no we do not make our life easier in fact it makes it harder and 
difficult. So it is the time we will care for our environment we live in. Now let's talk about pollution, its causes and its effects. First, I am going to tell you what is pollution. The addition of harmful substances into the environment is called pollution and the harmful sub substances are called pollutants. Most of the time these are the causes of pollution. Pollution Pollution adversely affects health and other activities of all living and non-living organisms. There are basically three types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution and land pollution are the three types of pollution. First, we are going to talk about air pollution. Addition of harmful gases such as carbon dioxide, methane and smoke into the air is called air pollution. It is caused by smoke from factories and harmful gases from cars and by other vehicles. Now we are going to talk about the different causes of air pollution. First is deforestation. What is deforestation? Deforestation is cutting down trees at a large scale for getting paper, wood, space for building malls, shops and houses. This leads to lesser number of trees in the environment and less trees make less oxygen so there is lesser amount of oxygen in the environment as well and higher amount of carbon dioxide in the air which leads to air pollution second cause is burning of fuels the burning down of fuels such as coal, petrol, diesel adds poisonous gases into the air this leads to air pollution Third is smoke of factories. The smoke coming out from factory ch chimneys when they burn coal or other fossil fuels. These give harmful gases such as carbon dioxide into the air which also causes air pollution. Fourth is eruption of volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, smoke comes out from the volcano and ash which leads to air pollution. The last reason is one of crackers. In Diwali, we burn crackers and fireworks which also add smoke into the environment which leads to air pollution. Now I know you also want to know what are the effects of air pollution. Air pollution causes problems in our breathing system such as asthma and other breathing problems. Air pollution affects our respiratory system. Mixing of harm. Now we are going to talk about the <coughs> second type of pollution, land pollution. What is land pollution? When we throw household garbage and other things onto the land like plastic, Mixing of harmful substances into the land is called land pollution. Now we will discuss the causes of land pollution. First, main type of reason for land pollution is deforestation. Deforestation means cutting down trees in a large scale. But when we do that, the roots of the trees that bind the soil together get the we know that trees, trees, roots bind the soil together but when we cut down trees in a large scale, the roots loosen the soil and this soil can easily be blown by air or taken away by water and this is called soil erosion. The addition of fertilizers and pesticides and cans of the Pepsi and other trash from household waste and solid waste such as cans and plastic bottles are also a cause of land pollution. Waste not only from household items but the waste from factories also cause land pollution. Now I am going to tell you about the effects of land pollution. We know pollution makes the quality of 
the land, water or air lower. So the plants that grow in polluted soil also have a low quality and the animals that feed on them also often fall ill. And the main effect is soil er erosion. <coughs> now we are going to discuss the third type of pollution, water pollution. What, but what is water pollution? And the addition of household, agricultural and industrial waste into the water causes water pollution. The addition of household, agricultural and industrial waste into the water is called water pollution. The first and main cause of water pollution is waste. When we throw household waste into rivers such as cans, plastic bottles, polythene bags, almost anything made up of plastic into the water, it causes water pollution and washing our clothes and Washing ourselves in rivers also causes water pollution. Some industries are situated right on the banks of rivers and the harmful chemicals from the factories is directly dumped into the river which causes water pollution. Now we are going to talk about the effects of water pollution. Pollution affects both plants and animals. When polluted water reach, reaches plants roots, the plant, plants die. The harmful chemicals in polluted water decrease the amount of oxygen in the water. And the animals living in the water do not get oxygen and die. Second effect is the water becomes poisonous. The water cannot be used for agriculture or household. Works. Now, fish that eat small amount of plastics often die and when these fish end up on our dinner plates, lunch, they get eaten by us. We in turn also eat plastic that has chemicals that makes it poisonous for eating. After listening to all these scary effects, you might also be wondering how to protect the environment. Now, the first thing we can do to protect the environment is to plant trees in barren areas. What's a barren area? Barren areas are areas which do not have trees or any plants around them or there is a scarcity of them. This, this process is called a forestation. This prevents soil erosion and also cleans the air. There should be regular pollution checks on vehicles. Factories should have tall chimneys so that the polluted air is far from the air we breathe. Industries should treat and clean the waste they produce to make it harmless or almost harmless. We should not wash clothes or bath in rivers or ponds. We should not use plastic bags or at least reduce the use and should not throw them anywhere but instead reuse them. Dry waste should be separated from the wet waste. But do you know what is the word when is the word in when day or W E T? It is on the 5th of June every year. In 1972, the United Nations General Assembly decided to make a day to raise awareness among people to protect the environment. Hence, the 5th of June is celebrated as World Environment Day or WED. And now, please protect the environment. And if you like this video, please like this video. If you love this video, you can subscribe. Bye. Thanks for watching. Stay home, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.